All right, so let's begin with the Mac uh, tools installation. So if you go right here to the documentation, and of course we can need the documentation, I'm gonna go here and it says, okay, installing dependencies, you need Node. We can cover that already uh, with the Expo CLI. So if I go here, it says, okay, so you will need to install Watchman. All right, so if you go right here, it says Brew. So what is Brew? So Brew works just like the NPM. The thing is that with the NPM, we install dependencies for Node.js. With Brew, we install things for our computer, you know, to use on the terminal. And Watchman, it's something that will watch your project files and it will, you know, decide if uh, it needs to reload some other files or not. So it's a watcher for your project. So, but first, before we can do it, this, we need to install Homebrew. So I'm going to go to the Homebrew. And remember, this is this video, it's for Mac users only. So when you go to Homebrew, it's going to say the missing package manager for Mac or Linux. So how can you install it? I'm not going to install it because I've already got it. So you need to copy this uh, this command. Of course, you need to copy this command if you're on Mac. And you will need to go to the terminal, uh, go to the terminal and just paste it right here and then just run it. All right. I'm not going to do it because uh, I've, I've already gotten my system and already updated it. So there's no need for me to install. And again, I'm not doing this because it takes a little while. It's going to take a few minutes. Of course, depending on your computer and depending on your connection, if you're and if you're saying, "Dude, I have a, I've got a pretty fast computer." Well, I got my connection. It's just you know, a, it's a monster connection, and this computer it's SSD, uh, sixteen gigabytes, so it's pretty pretty fast, and it's still going to take a while. So okay, just press enter, and uh, and then we're going to move forward, of course, to the next step. Okay, so after everything got installed with Homebrew. Uh, the way you can check if everything got installed is just doing brew. When you do brew, you get some commands you can run with brew. Very cool. So this is the first thing. So let's go back to our installation, our documentation. So I'm going to do clear. And right here at the top, it says, okay, first you need Node.js. We've already got a Node, so we don't need to do this. We need to install Watchman. I'm going to do it, you know, already got it, but I'm just going to do brew install Watchman. And we're going to wait until this is done. All right, so everything got installed and it says Watchman 4902 is already installed and up to date. It's because I've already got it. So, you know, it's not doing anything, but that's okay. I'm going to do clear and I'm going to move forward to the, uh, to the next one. So I'm going to go right here at the bottom and it says the React Native CLI. Just like we installed the React Native, um, sorry, the Expo CLI, we get a different one for this kind of environment, you know, the custom environment. So we need to do npm install global already got it, but I'm going to do it uh, anyways, npm install minus G react native CLI, CLI. All right. So I'm going to press enter and wait until this is done. Okay. So everything got done, got installed was pretty, pretty fast because you know, already got it. So the next step would be to get, and let me see if I can find it right here. Uh, no, it's actually not for iOS. Uh, if you go, if you're on a Mac and you wish to run Android applications, you know, the Android emulator, then we're going to install the tools we need for Android. But first, before doing so, we need to install something else after the uh, CLI. We need to download the JDK. So if you go right here, let me just close this. I was there already. So if you uh, click on this one, it will take you to the installation of the uh, Java development kit. So you will need to find your application, you know, your uh, operating system, Mac OS. In this case, you download the DMG. I've already got installed. I'm not going to install again. So you will need to, of course, download and install. All right, that's, that's it. So then what's next? So if we go to iOS uh, right here, uh, the next step would be to installing Xcode and installing Android. So if we go over here, Android development. So for both, and this is a part where maybe you're not going to like it. We need to install both platforms. They are just platforms, the Android development environment and the iOS, which is the Xcode. And you will need both if you want to build for iOS and Android. Now, this platforms, they, of course, they are just like programs and they run simulations of the real operating system. So if you want to build for both, you will need to download both. So I'm going to tell you with iOS and then much later, we're going to do with Android. Uh, we, uh, I'm going to add a section, but this Android will cover for Mac users and Windows users. 
since since right now we are doing just iOS, uh, I'm gonna show you with iOS. So I'm gonna open the App Store, and uh, if you go to the App Store, you're gonna go here and say Xcode, and select it. And of course, I you know I get it because I've already got it. I'm not gonna reinstall. And again, this download will take a long time. Could take, of course, depending on your connection and your computer, could take from, I don't know, one hour or maybe a little bit less, 40 minutes. And if you have a slow connection, well, it's gonna take hours. Sorry guys, this it, this one wakes like uh, four gigabytes or maybe a little bit less, or maybe a little bit more. So again, it's gonna take a while. You will need to, in, to download and install. So I'm gonna tell you, once you uh, got it installed, uh, it, it's going to show something like this. Of course, uh, I'm recording this post course, but that's okay. Now, when you get this, when you're running Xcode and everything gets installed in your computer, you need to do some additional steps. So it says the easiest ways, you know, whatever, Mac Store, we've already got it installed. Let's assume that you got it in your system. And then it says command line tools. When we run the simulation for iOS, we will trigger from the command line of our project. So we need to install this command line tools. How uh, we can do it? Pretty simple. I'm going to go to Xcode. Once you get uh, Xcode selected, you need to go to Xcode and go to preferences. So once uh, once there, you go to locations and at the bottom you will need to see, you're going to see something that says command line tools. And it's going to be uh, like empty. Now if you click it, you're going to get this, which is the latest command tools for Xcode. Uh, oh, you already get it when you install Xcode. The only thing you need to do is just select it. That's it. And that's it. That's the only uh, thing we need to do with Xcode. If you're planning on running Android, you're going to see that Android, it's much more complicated than this. With Xcode, we just download this. It takes a while. Uh, we select the command line tools and we are ready to go. Nothing else. With Android, it's much, 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 much work. But again, we're going to get there uh, in a few sections. Now I'm going to go to the next one and talk about the installations we need to do uh, with uh, Windows and I'm going to of course switch computers.